The story begins by showing a man in his 40s named Sasaki who is getting ready to go to work at his office. When Sasaki leaves his apartment, he sees birds chirping and also meets Lily, a cute middle school girl who is his neighbor. After that, he heads to the office by train. Shortly after, Sasaki arrives at the office and he hears complaints from his subordinate named Sadomi. At that moment, he asks Sasaki for his opinion on a report he is working on, so Sasaki decides to help his junior. Not only that, Sasaki even takes over his work so that Sadomi can move on to the next task, which makes Sadomi very happy to have such a kind senior. After that, Sasaki is also called by his boss to help with a report for his superior. He does the work enthusiastically, even though Sasaki feels a bit overwhelmed. Since Sasaki works at a regular company, he never works overtime and always leaves work on time. Sasaki then goes shopping at the supermarket to buy dinner. When he arrives home, Sasaki sees Lily sitting outside the apartment, so he greets her warmly. After that, Sasaki cleaned himself and starts having dinner. While eating, Sasaki watches funny videos of cats and dogs, which makes him decide to adopt a pet at the pet shop the next day. However, Sasaki realizes that he does not have much money, so he could only dream of having a pet. Suddenly Sasaki heard a voice asking to be adopted, and he immediately looked for the source of the strange sound in the pet shop. When he finds it, it turns out to be a java sparrow that asks Sasaki to adopt it. In the end, Sasaki immediately buys the bird since it is also affordable. When he gets home, Sasaki puts the java sparrow in a cage, and Sasaki then cleaned himself so he can have dinner. While eating, Sasaki thinks about the name for the java sparrow, but the bird tells him that its name is Peeps, and Peeps is also a star hermit from another world. Sasaki is shocked because the bird can talk, and he decided to call Peeps by the nickname Peachon. At that moment, Sasaki is invited by Peachon to work in another world. Where Sasaki accepts the invitation from Peachon, who gives him half of its power and immediately takes him to the Izakai to carry out tasks. Apparently, Pichon asks Sasaki to sell goods from Japan to people in the other world, ensuring that these goods are supplied to the right place so that the sales are profitable for both of them. Every day, Sasaki goes back and forth between the Izakai and his world, while Pichon continues to help and oversee his work, making him more relaxed. The next day, Sasaki is invited to talk by Sadomi because lately, he has changed. At that moment, Sadomi invites Sasaki to start a business together outside of the office and leave their jobs. Although interested, Sasaki already has a lot of work, so he refuses Sadomi's invitation to start a business. That night, Sasaki starts shopping for items to bring to the Izakai world, selecting goods at the supermarket that would be suitable for selling to the noble. After shopping, Sasaki arrives home and seeing Lily looking downcast. At that moment, Sasaki decided to give her the snacks he had just bought, then went inside to rest with Pichon. The next day, Sasaki continues his usual work and goes to the Izakai to sell goods. During his journey, Sasaki sees a man being thrown out of a restaurant, and it turns out to be French. Seeing French in trouble, Sasaki immediately helps him by opening a restaurant, so he can work there and manage the restaurant for him. Hearing this, French was so happy and immediately thanked Sasaki. After that meeting, Sasaki now has his own restaurant in another world, and he returns to his world to resumes his usual activities. After work, Sasaki sees a woman in trouble and helps her using ice magic he learned from Pichon. After driving away the criminal, the woman becomes suspicious of Sasaki and takes him to her office, introducing him to the organization's work. The next day, Sasaki and Pichon visit the organization's office, where they get a new job as partners with Hozizaki. Before Sasaki leaves, Lily wants to talk to him, but he declines and asks for another time because he is very busy and in a hurry. Upon arrival, Sasaki and Hozizaki have a conversation, where she informs him about the salary for the organization's job. Since Sasaki agrees, he receives a substantial total salary and he also provided with accommodations in a hotel. After that, Sasaki immediately goes to rest and contemplates his job. The next morning, Sasaki is invited to participate in a mission as a crime-fighting staff member, but he had just joined and was reluctant to take on heavy missions. When Hozizaki insists, Sasaki tries to close the door. As Hozizaki holds the door, their superior named Akutsu suddenly appears. In that moment, 
Akutsu apologizes to Sasaki for Hozizaki's behavior and promptly takes her back to the office to avoid disturbing the new employee. After that, Sasaki decides to talk with Pichon but fears there might be CCTV, so he immediately goes outside. Apparently, Sasaki is followed by someone from the organization who wants to investigate him, and Sasaki decided to hide in the restroom to quickly go to the other world and negotiate a business deal with the city ruler. When he arrives, Sasaki is immediately welcomed for bringing new goods. The city ruler named Viscount Mueller interrogates Sasaki about his products and asks for his identity. Upon hearing this, Sasaki immediately explains that he is just a stranded craftsman, though he previously had excellent equipment that allowed him to create new types of products. At that moment, Mueller believes in Sasaki's work and asks him to supply more. After that, Sasaki paid French's salary and provides money for buying restaurant supplies. The next day, Sasaki was invited by Sadomi to a bar after work, where they drank together enthusiastically. When it was getting late, Sasaki decided to immediately return to his apartment. When he arrives at the apartment, Sasaki is greeted by Lily, who gives him some cookies that she made during her class. At that moment, Lily asks about Hozizaki who had worked with him and Sasaki immediately explains that Hozizaki is his boss at the office. After hearing that, Lily feels reassured and runs immediately off. Sometime later, in the Izakai world, Sasaki and Pichon visit a river for magic training. At that moment, Sasaki managed to impress Pichon after he was able to learn magic quickly. Even though he had just been taught, Sasaki was able to master his magic easily while other magicians took 10 years to learn the same spell. Sasaki was confused by Pichon's praise. After that they continued their journey because Pichon was hungry and wanted to eat meat, but they had to work first before eating at French restaurant. Not long after, Sasaki and Pichon enter a meeting room with Mark, where Mark is very curious because he has received new supplies from Sasaki. After that Sasaki explains the walkie-talkie he is selling, which impressed Mark with the technology shown by Sasaki and wants to buy all the stock. This surprises Sasaki, but he decided to accept Mark's request. After that, Mark whispers to Sasaki that walkie-talkies will be very important, especially since relations between the neighboring country and their region are tense, and there was a high possibility of conflict. Sasaki understands the problem, and he also provides a supply of batteries so the walkie-talkies can be used continuously. Sasaki then rushes off after his transaction with Mark. On the way, he continues chatting with Pichon until French calls out to him from a distance. At that moment, French invites Sasaki to eat at the restaurant, and he is shocked to see so many customers dining at his restaurant. As a result, Sasaki decides to give French a raise in salary. Upon hearing this, French is immediately happy to have a good boss like Sasaki, especially since his boss is never stingy so French always works wholeheartedly. After that, Sasaki immediately gave the recipe sheet to French to update, making him enthusiastic about perfecting the recipe. After completing his responsibilities, Sasaki rushes off and returns to his world to rest. The next day, Sasaki receives a call from the organization to immediately come and carry out a mission. Although he looks very sleepy, Sasaki has to work. Therefore, he quickly gets ready to start working. Upon arriving at the location, Sasaki is scolded by Hozizaki. But the manager immediately apologizes for summoning Sasaki without considering the time. Apparently, they had a mission to attack the enemy, but when the time for the attack arrives, Sasaki remains hidden. Not long after, a wind spell signals the arrival of a figure from the enemy organization. After that, the organization members are attacked one by one by the criminals, but unfortunately, Sasaki cannot see the enemy. At that moment, Sasaki uses his ice power, which Hozizaki melts into a powerful force. Without delay, Hozizaki engages in battle with the enemy and she continuously tries to find ways to win and protect the other staff members. At the same time, Hozizaki suddenly falls into a trap and faints from exhaustion. At that moment, Sasaki acts quickly by immediately attacks the nearby enemy. Suzuka, who witnessing this action, is surprised by Sasaki's fighting skills, even though he appears to be a beginner. Nevertheless, Sasaki can handle Suzuka quite well. Seeing his bravery and ability, Suzuka decides not to continue her attack, realizing that Sasaki is a formidable opponent.
Finally, Sasaki proposes a deal for Suzuka not to reveal his skills to others. After that, he lets Suzuka's organization go. Not wanting to continue fighting, Sasaki suggests making peace, and this makes Suzuka's organization curious about Sasaki's attitude. Suzuka then asks Sasaki to join her, but he immediately declines, as he has a principle of remaining loyal to one organization. In the end, Suzuka decides to leave Sasaki, and he quickly rescues the other members, as he previously asked Suzuka to release his organization's members. Sasaki later reports the day's events to his manager, but he chose not to tell everything. As the result, Sasaki realizes that he is suspected because the enemy suddenly retreated, but his manager still trusts him. After that, Sasaki meets with Hozizuki, who is now impressed with him for saving her, and they go to a restaurant for a meal after work. While waiting for their order at the restaurant, Hozizuki thanks Sasaki. At that moment, Sasaki also asks Hozizuki about her age. Without hesitation, Hozizuki answered that she was only 16 years old, which surprised Sasaki after thinking that his boss was already an adult. Hozizuki then explains that she uses makeup to look mature and earn respect from others. After that, they start a conversation about work, especially since Sasaki wonders why Hozizuki is so loyal to her job. Without thinking twice, Hozizuki answers that she works hard because the salary in the organization is quite high. The scene then shifts to Sasaki's apartment, where Sasaki and Pichon are seen enjoying a delicious meal. After that, Sasaki decided to give Pichon a reward for helping him so well, and as a reward, Pichon was given his favorite expensive meat. Unbeknownst to Sasaki and Pichon, they are about to face a serious problem, so they must prepare for the situation ahead. Sometime later, Sasaki and Pichon went to the Izakai world, where Sasaki decides to meet with Mueller. However, Sasaki is shocked when Mueller invites him to join the front line in the war, as he believes that Sasaki can play an important role in the battle. Despite considering the consequences, Sasaki suggests that Mueller should leave the city. Upon hearing this, Sebastian the Viscount assistant is surprised by Sasaki's words, but Mueller continues to plead for help, and Sasaki agrees to listen. After that, Mueller tells a story about a once famous star sage who was eventually killed due to the jealousy of the surrounding nobles. This led to chaos in the city and the loss of the star sage is still felt today. Therefore, Mueller does not want to leave the city and wants to continue saving his country. After hearing the story, Sasaki felt sympathy and accepted the task. Mueller then thanked Sasaki while he continued his journey and met French. When he arrives at the restaurant, Sasaki receives a report about French's former boss committing a crime by asking for a discount. However, French cannot simply give a discount and asks Sasaki for help to resolve the problem. After that, Sasaki immediately handles the issue so it can be resolved later. Not long after, Sasaki travels to meet with a food distributor, where he must negotiate properly because it is difficult to gain access to bulk purchases. Eventually, Sasaki succeeds, and the distributor's boss immediately agrees to the purchasing cooperation. After finishing, Sasaki leaves the location to teleport to the Viscount's area. When arrives in the Viscount's area, Mueller is surprised to learn that Sasaki can teleport and thanks him for the quick and helpful work. Mueller then talks about the Star Sage after realizing that Sasaki has abilities similar to a Star Sage who could teleport which makes him feel sad and nostalgic for the time when the Star Sage was still alive. After their conversation ended, Sasaki and Pichon decide to return home. After two months had passed, Sasaki received the bad news that Mueller had passed away. At that time, he also had a meeting with the boss of the company because he's going to get a higher position. It seems Sasaki will start working closely with Hozizuki, which surprised him as he doesn't want to continue to work with Hozizuki. After the meeting, Sasaki goes out to shop once more. When he got home, Sasaki met Lily who offered to give him a massage. However, Sasaki immediately refused because he felt embarrassed about it. After that, he decided to give Lily a cake, since he had an extra portion. When she received the cake, Lily felt uncomfortable because she kept receiving food from Sasaki. Sasaki then went inside and invited Pichon to eat cake. At that moment, Pichon seemed sad about the Viscount's death. Although not very close, Mueller had been kind to Pichon in the past. The next day, Sasaki and Pichon continued their tasks in the Izakai world, 
where Sasaki is invited by Mark. They received a call from Sebastian, who introduced the Viscount's daughter named Elsa. At that moment, he explained about the civil war between Maximilian and Kai, Elsa's brothers. Due to this complicated issue, Sebastian asked Mark and Sasaki to protect Elsa during this problem. The scene then moved to Sebastian's room, where he was seen contacted his collaborators from other noble families to conspire against the Mueller's family. At that moment, Sebastian planned to report the dire condition of the Viscount's family, especially since, with the Viscount's death, his two sons decided to fight for power. This made Sebastian had the opportunity to manipulate the Viscount's children. At the same time, the two sons quickly launched their war actions. After their battle, they created evidence of each other's deaths. The next day, Sebastian was shocked to learn about it, and hurriedly gathered Sasaki and Mark to announce Elsa's new position. However, Sasaki and his friends were still busy eating at the restaurant. Sasaki then invited Elsa to enjoy a dish made by France. At that moment, she was astonished by the magic of French's cooking. Previously, Elsa had been very gloomy, but now she was enthusiastic. Elsa decided to continue the meal, and Sasaki was happy to see the smile on her face. Soon after, Mark appeared with bad news, prompting Sasaki and his friends to visit Elsa's home. Upon arrival, Elsa immediately met with Sebastian, who showed evidence of her brother's deaths. Elsa was shocked and couldn't believe the dire situation of her family, and she decided to refuse Sebastian's request to become the leader of the Mueller's family. Before Elsa could find a husband, Sebastian would help her with her responsibilities. Sasaki then tried to stop Sebastian because Elsa was still hurt by the situation, but they couldn't delay filling the family head position, so Sebastian insisted on pressuring Elsa. Afterward, Sasaki and Pichon continued their journey back to Japan. However, this time they chose a different way to return. Instead of teleporting, Pichon wanted to fly and see the stars. At that moment, Pichon carried Sasaki through the air, making him happy as he felt the night wind on his face. However, they were suddenly attacked, where Sasaki decided to help Pichon, but the enemy's attack was too strong, so only Pichon could fight. After that, Sasaki descended and waited for Pichon to finish the battle. At that moment, Sasaki unexpectedly encountered Mueller who was still alive and was there with Prince Adonis. Both approached Sasaki to ask for his help in returning home. Upon hearing this, Sasaki decided to continue assisting Mueller as they were now under enemy attack and immediately used his magical skills to protect the two nobles. When enemy soldiers appeared, the Viscount fought them off. After defeating the Oge Kingdom forces, they were attacked by monsters. At that moment, the Viscount tried to fight off the Orc troops, but his strength was insufficient. Finally, Sasaki intervened to help, but he was also defeated by the Orc leader. Suddenly, Pichon appeared and saved Sasaki and his companions from the monsters. After the fight, they discussed about Pichon, which revealing a hidden truth. At that moment, Mueller recognized Pichon's voice and movements as those of a star sage. Therefore, Sasaki and his companions returned to the Viscount's home to resolve the matter. The next day, they arrived and were greeted by Elsa. At that moment, her two brothers also appeared, which Elsa immediately hugged her father. Confused, Elsa listened as her father explained that he had been investigating betrayal and crime in their territory. Apparently, he had orchestrating this strategy to uncover the culprits. Upon hearing this, Elsa became upset for being deceived by her family. In the end, Sebastian was promptly arrested for questioning because Mueller was very angry about the rebellion within his house. The scene then switches to Lily's school, who looks worried because she hasn't seen Sasaki for a long time, which makes her sad, hoping to see him again. After school, Lily decided to go home but witnessed chaos on the street and became involved as a witness. She gave her testimony to the police. During this, Lily overheard the authorities discussing Sasaki and Hozizaki, prompting her to hurry home. Meanwhile, Sasaki was on a mission with Hozizaki after receiving reports of a student with supernatural powers, and they quickly headed to the student's school. Upon arrival, they searched for the boy, who was a fire magic user. However, they initially missed him, so they decided to follow him secretly. At that moment, they were shocked to see the boy being bullied by some men. Witnessing this, Hozizaki became angry, but Sasaki stopped her from revealing themselves. 
Following Sasaki's instructions, Hozizaki decided to keep observing the boy. Once the boy was safe, they opted to conduct a new investigation. However, Hozizaki requested that Sasaki leave the task to her, as she wanted to learn more about the boy's powers. While Sasaki wrote a report for the manager, both agents decided to pursue separate operations, but Sasaki was very curious and followed Hozizaki. When Sasaki arrived at the school, he witnessed the boy meeting a female student. This surprised Sasaki because an introvert like him had a girl, but the girl seemed familiar to Sasaki. Shortly after, Elric's gang appeared and started bothering the boy. At that moment, the gang began harassing his girlfriend, but it turned out that the person they were bothering was Hozizaki in disguise, who immediately beat up Elric for bothering her. When Elric tried to attack Hozizaki, the boy got angry and unleashed his firepower, but the fire hit an airplane, which could have led to a disaster if the fire wasn't stopped. At that moment, Sasaki took action to stop the fire disaster. While, the students fainted in shock from witnessing the tragic event. After that, Sasaki was surprised when he suddenly met Suzuka again, but this time she came with an enemy named Hinata. It turned out that Hinata and Sasaki knew each other because they had met before. Hozizaki then acted to confront Suzuka, thought she was up to something bad, but Suzuka knocked Hozizaki out. Worried that chaos would ensue if Hozizaki woke up, Suzuka and Sasaki decided to work together to face Hinata. Although Sasaki first tried to negotiate, where he claimed to be an old magic user, not a supernatural power user like Hozizaki and the others, which made Hinata feel calm enough to talk. Hinata then explained that she was angry because supernatural power user had killed her family. After that, she eventually left after talking with Sasaki and Suzuka was amazed at his ability to handle enemies. Shortly after, Hozizaki and the boy, who were unconscious, were taken to an apartment to rest, while Sasaki and Suzuka had a conversation. During that moment, Suzuka expressed her desire to join Sasaki's organization. Upon hearing this, he was shocked as to why Suzuka would suddenly approach the organization where he worked. Sasaki then asked Suzuka about her main purpose for wanting to join their organization, especially since everyone knew that she was the leader of a rival organization. But Suzuka brazenly requested to enter the enemy's base. After listening to Suzuka's words, Sasaki was deeply shocked, but Suzuka threatened Sasaki, especially since she knew about his hidden power. Sasaki was forced to comply with Suzuka's demands, but he could only introduce her to Akutsu because Sasaki had no authority to recruit others. After that, Sasaki received a call from Akutsu, where he immediately explained the events at the fire scene in detail. After a long explanation, the manager understood Sasaki so he didn't have to worry about being scolded for the chaos at the boys' school. After that, Suzuka was even more determined to join because Sasaki was there. Hearing that, Sasaki advised her to remove the CCTV that Akutsu installed in the members' room because he didn't want Akutsu to spy on her. At that moment, Hozizaki was shocked when she found out about the manager's behavior and immediately went to Akutsu's office. She interrogated Akutsu about why he was spying on the staff with CCTV. Akutsu then explains that he is gay and does not see Sasaki in person because he wants to avoid conflict. Hozizaki then asked him to remove the CCTV and the manager agreed to her request. After that, Hozizaki gave Akutsu some traditional palm fruit made by Suzuka. This piqued Akutsu's curiosity and he immediately ate it. After tasting it, Akutsu fell in love with the flavor and he insisted that Hozizaki try it as well causing her to suffer from the taste of the palm fruit. Since it was late, Sasaki decided to return to the apartment. On the way, he was followed by Suzuka, who asked to live with him because she had no destination and no friends yet. The next day, Suzuka met Pichon where Pichon invited her to chat and was surprised to learn about her wealth. At that moment, they made a deal for Suzuka to help them gain access to trade information in the Izakai world, where she immediately agreed after she found it beneficial. After that, Sasaki chatted with Akutsu and Suzuka while eating and drinking alcohol at a restaurant. Sasaki then asked the manager for permission to recruit Suzuka, but he handed that responsibility to Sasaki. At that moment, Hozizaki suddenly appeared, suspicious of seeing Sasaki and Suzuka together, and decided to join them. The next day, Hozizaki brought a palm-filled omelette for Sasaki because he did not particularly like the sour palm fruit. 
Hozizaki then recommended her cooking to Sasaki. After work, Sasaki and his friends ate together. The scene then shifted to a meeting of the nobles with the king. At that moment, the king granted new authority, stating that those with inheritance rights to the throne would participate in national politics. The one who performed best over five years would become the heir unconditionally. This surprised Mueller because of the king's words, leading the nobles to think about strengthening the prince they supported. On the other side, Mark was happily walking with his members when he was suddenly trapped by a jealous noble. At that moment, less majesty and noble had arrived, and his carriage pretended to slip due to Mark's actions. Consequently, Mark was immediately imprisoned for disturbing the noble, leaving him confused because he had committed no crime. Following that, Kirito quickly fled to report to Mueller. The scene shifts to Sasaki and Pichon, who are busy packing their belongings, but they receive a call from Mueller. After the call, both of them immediately visit the Viscount's house. At that moment, they discuss the new and unreasonable authority granted by the king, which has caused chaos in the palace due to the actions of ruthless nobles. The selection of the prince has heated up the nobles who are backing different princes, each of them wanting to hasten the victory of their chosen one. Mueller then suggests that Sasaki should move his trade to another country, as now is not the right time to trade in a chaotic land, as he would likely encounter many problems. However, Sasaki responds that he does not mind continuing to trade alongside Mueller. Shortly after, Kirito appears and informs Viscount about Mark, which shocked Sasaki and the others with the news. After that, Sasaki decided to save Mark because he knew that Mark, who was very successful in the trading business, had rivals namely Hermann and Dietrich, who tried to bring him down because they were jealous of his achievements. Thus, Mueller resigns himself and allows Sasaki to move freely in the country. After that, Sasaki visits the prison where Mark is held. At that moment, Sasaki tells the guard to convey his message to Dietrich that no one can run the business as well as Mark, because he has a unique image and characteristics that always lead to success. The guard is shocked to hear Sasaki speak sarcastically about Dietrich and Sasaki, also mentions that the prince should know that Mark is more important than anyone else. Despite his bold statements, Sasaki is not afraid and becomes more determined to save Mark. Sasaki then meets with Joseph, who is a buyer of Sasaki's supply goods. At that moment, Sasaki decides to immediately supply his goods, but Joseph reminds him to be cautious about the current issues between the countries. Joseph also warns Sasaki to be careful since he is a trader from hers that trading in another country. Sasaki then asks Joseph to let him supply goods to Kepler Trading with payments to be made in installments after he successfully establishes a new company called Mark Trading. In the end, the negotiation between them succeeds. Meanwhile, Elsa was seen discussing the bad news about Mark with French. Shortly after, Elsa notices strange behavior from Sasaki who has just appeared, as he intends to supply goods. It seems Sasaki plans to talk to Elsa, but he is surprised when Pichon shows up and starts talking. Making Elsa curious and wanting to follow them both and sneaks into Sasaki's and Pichon's merchandise. It appears that Sasaki plans to teleport to Japan and meet Suzuka. When the goods arrive, Suzuka immediately opens the box, but she is shocked to find Elsa inside Sasaki's cargo box. The scene then shifts to Mueller residence, where French and the others are still busy searching for Elsa's whereabouts, as she has been missing since noon, causing concern for Mueller and his family. On the other hand, Sasaki was surprised by Elsa's appearance, and he together with Pichon asked her about her intention to follow him. At that moment, Sasaki was worried about Suzuka hearing their conversation. But Pichon informed her that Suzuka would not understand what they were talking about because Pichon automatically translated every conversation between them. After that, Elsa confronted by Sasaki about her arrival. Apparently, Elsa becomes suspicious of him because since his arrival in her world, everything has changed including Mark suddenly being imprisoned, making her angry. After that, Elsa decides to follow Sasaki to investigate the conspiracy she suspects. After listening to Elsa, Sasaki immediately explains about selling goods to Suzuka. At that moment, Sasaki explains that he sells the goods to quickly free Mark. Upon hearing this, Elsa finally realizes that Sasaki doesn't have evil intentions. Shortly after, Sasaki decides to take Elsa home, but Suzuka tries interrupt Sasaki's gang. At that moment, 
Pichon immediately rushes against Suzuka, shocking her with Pichon's great power. However, Suzuka refuses to give up and quickly uses her moves to defeat Pichon. Unfortunately, Pichon curses Suzuka that if she disturbs Sasaki and his friends, Pichon will beat her up. This makes Suzuka angry because she is threatened by Pichon, but she remains stubborn and continues to disturb, making Pichon angry and immediately beating Suzuka. In the end, Suzuka surrenders and follows Sasaki and his friends. Not long after, Sasaki and Pichon invite Elsa to go home, where Suzuka gives her a beautiful dress as a gift. As they board the ship, Elsa looks very graceful. However, Suzuka feels ignored by Sasaki and Elsa throughout the journey, even though she is the one who arranged all the preparations for their journey. Finally, Sasaki decides to invite Suzuka to join the conversation so that she doesn't get angry. During the journey, journalists try to disturb them, so Sasaki asks them to leave. After the journalists leave, they continue their conversation. At that moment, Elsa is surprised to see a child fall and immediately uses her supernatural powers to save him. At the same time, the journalists continue taking pictures, so Sasaki and Suzuka intervene to drive them away. After that incident, they meet with Akutsu and the manager immediately ask about Elsa, but Sasaki tries to avoid it. Akutsu then talks to Suzuka and gives her a mission to confront a Class B supernatural power user who needs to be eliminated. Because Suzuka has an A-level power, she is trusted to fight against the enemy. After that, they immediately leave the manager and work on other tasks. Sasaki, along with Pichon and Elsa, then spoke. Where, Elsa asked Sasaki to invite her to learn about Japan, but he refused, afraid that Elsa would know too much about the cruel world. However, Elsa still in sight, until Pichon also reprimanded her. In the end, Elsa gave up her intention after hearing Pichon's words, but she was annoyed because the number of people who could advise her was increasing, even though usually she only listened to her father. On the other hand, inside the prison where Mark was detained, French was seen came to offer encouragement and food to Mark, as that was what he could do as a chef. Upon seeing his condition that appeared very weak due to the grim prison conditions, French urged Mark to eat quickly so that the snacks would not be stolen by rats. After visiting Mark, French continued on his journey. The next day, Sasaki and Pichon escorted Elsa back to her house, where she apologized to her father for causing him worry, and Sasaki also apologized for bringing Elsa along with them. After that, Sasaki spoke with Mueller about how to rescue Mark and they decided to visit Hermann's house together. Upon arrival, they immediately discussed Mark. However, Hermann refused to help him as Dietrich had decided to execute Mark. Upon hearing this, Sasaki and Mueller were taken aback. Therefore, Mueller asked Hermann again to help Mark. As Hermann refused, Mueller became angry, so they chose to visit Dietrich's house directly. When Sasaki and Mueller arrived, Dietrich immediately welcomed them. At that moment, they discussed about Mark, but Dietrich wanted to know about Sasaki first and asked about him. Sasaki then showed his merchandise, which caught Dietrich's interest who wanted to exploit Sasaki. Dietrich then asked Sasaki to supply goods to him, so he would release Mark from execution. Upon hearing this, Mueller did not accept Dietrich's decision. But unlike Mueller, Sasaki said he would think about it first, and he obtained permission for a month ahead. After that, Sasaki and Mueller returned home. After some time, Sasaki continued to look for solutions to his problems, he rarely even returned to his world. When he is in a hurry to get supplies, he will use teleportation so he doesn't have to enter the door to get to his house. At the same time, Lily was seen waiting for Sasaki who had not yet returned. Suddenly, Lily heard Sasaki's sound from his house, so Lily decided to eavesdrop in front of the door. At that moment, Lily was startled when Sasaki suddenly opened the door, and they only exchanged greetings briefly before he left to carry out his mission. However, Sasaki received a warning from his superior and accelerated his movements to arrive at the meeting location quickly. On the other side, Hermann and Dietrich were confident that Sasaki would surely fail to make a decision regarding trade. Not long after, Dietrich received a letter, prompting him to immediately read it. The scene then switches to Sasaki's restaurant, which is being observed by Dietrich after he arrives together with Hermann, and they immediately enter the restaurant. At that moment, Sasaki promptly introduced French, 
who was the head chef at his restaurant, impressing Dietrich with Sasaki's establishment. Sasaki then inquired about Mark, and Dietrich informed that Mark was in his carriage because if the negotiations failed, Mark would be thrown back into prison immediately. Shortly after, Mueller together with second Prince Adonis came to Sasaki restaurant. Upon seeing this, Dietrich was surprised by the prince's arrival and immediately held an important meeting. Without delay, they began to discuss about Mark. Initially, the prince opened the discussion about the country and listened to Dietrich's opinions. After Dietrich finished his discussion, the prince was impressed and praised his intelligence. The conversation then shifted to Mark, and the prince requested Mark's immediate release. However, Dietrich politely refused because of an agreement with Sasaki, but Sasaki needed permission from the prince first. Sasaki then explained that his trading success was thanks to the prince's assistance, so Dietrich couldn't just take all his trade production as he pleased. But, Dietrich remained insistent and demanded payment of 1 million gold coins. Despite the large amount, Sasaki agreed casually, surprising Mueller and the others, but they were all touched by his kindness. After that, Sasaki stated that Mark was important to the country, so he would definitely help him no matter what. Seeing Sasaki's kindness made Dietrich feel ashamed, so he reluctantly relented. However, Hermann became angry because Dietrich deviated from the agreement which Hermann wanted to gather the first prince's faction and negotiate whether Mark could be released or not. Dietrich was shocked to hear Hermann's betrayal, but what was even more surprising was the appearance of Joseph. In fact, Joseph was the president of the Kepler Trading Company from the country of Lunch. This surprised everyone, as Kepler Trading was the largest, even surpassing the kingdom of hers. Apparently, Joseph had completed his task to help Sasaki create Mark's trading company, so he wanted to meet Mark in person because Mark was crucial to Herz's trading. Upon hearing this, Hermann and Dietrich were surprised to see Sasaki's influence in successfully establishing cooperation with the lunge side. Finally, the meeting was ended as Mark met Joseph directly, and he expressed his gratitude profusely. After completing their task, Sasaki and Pichon rested on the beach, where they discussed the materials to be given to Dietrich before Joseph's arrival. It turned out that Sasaki had already asked for Suzuka's help to prepare them, and she was very quick which surprising him. Sasaki decided not to use the threat of Dietrich's debt, as he owed it due to providing war assistance to the country. Previously, Joseph had taken care of Dietrich to keep him safe, so all matters had been settled. Therefore, Sasaki and Pichon hurried back to Japan. After completing the task in Isekai World, Sasaki immediately searched for Suzuka who was in danger during her new mission. When Suzuka was confronted with the arrival of Yagami from his old organization, the gang immediately moved to capture her as they felt Suzuka had switched organizations without permission. So Sasaki and Pichon promptly teleported her to a warehouse. At that moment, Sasaki, Suzuka, and Pichon discussed their problems together. But they were suddenly attacked by enemies, and Suzuka was shocked after realizing that her opponent was Yagami. Meanwhile, Sasaki and Pichon were busy talking amongst themselves, so Suzuka asked them to focus. At that moment, Yagami threw some bombs, but Pichon quickly neutralized them with his containment magic and Pichon appeared ready to confront the arrogant Yagami. Without waiting long, Yagami immediately attacked Pichon and they exchanged blows without paying attention to their surroundings. At that moment, Sasaki was amazed by Pichon's prowess. Although Yagami managed to injure him, Pichon remained calm. Pichon then retaliated against Yagami, causing him to be afraid. Shortly after, their fight ended, and Yagami attempted to leave. But Sasaki stopped him after explaining that he wanted to establish good relations with Yagami's organization. Although Yagami felt puzzled, he agreed to Sasaki's proposal. Not long after, Sasaki and his friends received news of a summons because Japan was facing a major enemy from the Witch Girls. Immediately, Sasaki and his friends decided to rush back to headquarters. The scene switches to the plane that Sasaki and Suzuka are traveling on, where they head to the meeting location to face the magical girls. Apparently, Hinata was where Sasaki was going, and she was with her witch friends. Shortly after arriving, Sasaki and his friends immediately took action to fight the witches. However, they were puzzled about how to break through the protective magic of the two witches, as they casually attacked the organization's forces. Seeing the cunning of the witches, 
Sasaki began to think of a strategy. Without delay, Sasaki immediately channeled water into the protection, causing Hinata and Nami to panic. The witches then attempted to remove the puddle of water to maintain safety. It appeared that Sasaki was assisted by Suzuka to successfully incapacitate the enemy. At that moment, Suzuka quickly fight Hinata to render her unconscious, as she was the source of power for the protection, allowing Sasaki along with Suzuka to defeat the other witch. However, Hozizuki misunderstood the situation, so she and the other members attacked Suzuka. Seeing this, Sasaki immediately stopped the attack. Not long after, Akutsu appeared and praised Suzuka's ability, and she was immediately appointed as a member, but her appointment was not official because the situation was still not safe. Therefore, Sasaki took responsibility for training and supervising Suzuka. After that, Sasaki and his friends returned to their respective homes. Upon arrival, Sasaki conversed with Lily, where Sasaki also provided food and drinks. At that moment, Sasaki decided to explain that the person who often talked to him was a man, so Lily didn't need to worry. It seemed the conversation was quickly concluded, and they went straight into the house. After that, Sasaki and Pichon had dinner together at home while chatting. The next day, Sasaki along with Pichon carried out their activities as usual. In the evening, Sasaki was accompanied by Pichon to work on their tasks. After that, they discussed important matters, so they turn on the TV to prevent the neighbors from hearing their conversation. At that moment, Sasaki and Pichon were suddenly shocked to see the news on TV about the appearance of the lizard man monster. Meanwhile, on the other side, Lily met a handsome demon man who informed her that she had to take over his duty to fight against the angel's envoy. The story then ended. Moral lesson from the story, always double check your belongings before returning home because you might find unexpected guests inside your cargo box rather than the souvenirs you expected.